In this video, I'm gonna be showing you Mr. Large, which is the flagship model from Mistral AI that just came out. Mr. Large is now available on the Mistral AI API, and it is also available through Azure. This is a top tier model. In terms of the MMLU score, Mistral Large ranks between GPT-4 and Claude 2. As they mentioned in the blog post, it can be used for complex multilingual reasoning tasks, including text understanding, transformation, and code generation. In terms of pricing for this model, it is also 20% cheaper than GPT-4. Some of the strengths and capabilities is natively in English, French, Spanish, German, and Italian, and it has nuanced understanding of grammar and cultural context. It is a 32,000 token context window. And another feature that a lot of people are going to be excited about is its native capability for function calling. It allows developers to leverage these LLMs and use them to parse and invocate functions. So say if you're asking for something like what is the weather, you could trigger a function that goes and retrieves that real-time information of the weather or just about anything. So it could be making a call to your SQL database, it could be making a call to your proprietary API, that sort of thing. It's a pretty big unlock for developers building applications. Mistral announced that they're partnering with Microsoft to provide their models through Azure which is similar to what OpenAI allows developers to access as well. For very particular use cases, you can contact them for further details on how you can self-deploy this. But I'd imagine this type of thing is only going to be really available to enterprise customers. In terms of some of the other benchmark metrics outside of MMLU, you see that GPT-4 does outperform by a variance of 5.4 on MMLU and by a similar margin on Hella-S. With that being said, on the metrics where Mr. Large does outperform, GPT-4 doesn't have a stated benchmark. Mr. Large is a step above the Mixtral open source model that they released, as well as Llama 270B. And alongside with Mr. Large, they're also releasing Mistral Small, which does outperform their Mixtral model and lower latency. And what's nice with the Mistral Small model, it also does have that function calling feature. Now we have another option when we're looking to leverage function calling within our LLM applications. There's a lot of tooling, whether it's with Langchain or Llama Index, on how you can essentially take that natural language and take that response from the LLM and hopefully parse that. There's tooling out there with things like Langchain or Llama Index where you can use tools like output parsers to take that output from the LLM and parse it into a usable format like JSON for your application. So this goes without saying that it's a really nice feature that's built right into their inference API. But to get started with Mistral, you can go ahead and make an account. There is a very straightforward setup process. You will have to set up your billing information to be able to interact with their API. Just to go through their platform, you can have up to 10 API keys. There is also a usage dashboard. If you've used their API in various months, you'll be able to see it plotted across here. I use this briefly when I was experimenting with it last month, and you'll be able to see all the different models and your usage across them here. Now, in terms of rate limits, you're going to be able to get five requests per second or 2 million tokens per minute and 10 billion tokens per month. Now, if you want to increase these limits, don't hesitate to reach out to them. If you just click docs and you go over to client code, they have some examples on how you can get started with Python, JavaScript, or curl requests. I'll just show you how to get started with JavaScript. So if I just take this code here, you can just simply init dash Y if you've bun installed. Now, if we head back to their documentation, what you will need to install is their package. So if we just copy this and bun install this, we just wait for a moment for that to install. We see that it's there. Then we're going to go within our index TS here, and we can just simply copy our code here. We're going to paste that in here. Now we're going to have to create a .env. Within our .env, we're going to copy this Mistral API key just like this, put an equal sign, then we're going to go over to the platform here and generate a new API key here. Once we have our API key all set up, I'm just going to bun install.env. Similarly with npm, you can just npm install.env. And what we're going to do within here, we're just going to import .env and then .env.config. So we'll just save that out. And then all you have to do is bun index.ts. And then we should see here that we get the message back from the inference API. So there we have it. That's a simple example on how to get started with their API. Now, with that being said, if you head over to their API documentation, you do also have the ability to stream. If you're gonna be building something like a chat application, you can use that stream command. Just make sure that you go ahead and set up a streaming to true. There is also a Mistral implementation within Langchain that you can go ahead and experiment with or put in within your Langchain application. So another option you can explore is for Cell AI's SDK. It will give you a simple interface like this. You can go ahead, play around with their model. In terms of pricing, it is $8 per million tokens for their large model, and then it is $2 per million tokens for their small model. 
That's it for this video. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, until the next one.